returns to defend his title. He's still only 19. Uh, the man from Darlington has a good opponent here, Rob McCracken, a very hard hitter from Birmingham. Hall, the defending champion, all in white, against this man from Birmingham, Rob McCracken. McCracken, 20, Hall, 19. And you can see the difference in height immediately. McCracken got a lot of height and presumably reach advantage here. Alan Hall from the Shildon Club in Durham. Getting themselves tied up a little bit. Mr. McCann sorting it out. McCracken is the son of Irish parents, but nevertheless he boxes for England at international level, although he did take part in the Irish Junior Championships last year. That's McCracken on the right in the yellow trunks. Alan Hall, still only 19, and yet this is his third successive Wembley final. Champion last year, and runner-up to Mickey Ayres the year before. Tremendous performance from a youngster. And the right hand of Hall has gone in on the big hitter's jaw. Hall swings them from everywhere, and they get through. semi-finals at Gloucester. McCracken won his contest in 40 seconds against Mark White of London, did it with right hands. Then had a walkover through the ABA semi-finals. Hall came through the semi-finals in Blackburn against the world champion Michael Smith. Well, Hall, no doubt, uh, undoubtedly hurt McCracken with that earlier attack. And McCracken has recovered well. If he uses that reach properly, Hall will never get near him. Sloppy right hand this time from Hall. But when he gets aggressive, he really does go for his man. First round. Again the right hand from Hall, and he winds up tearing away at his man. What a fighter, what an aggressive fighter. Alan Hall of Shildon, used to box out of Darlington. An aggressive man he is. Well, there was a big attack here by Hall early on. Look at that right hand, chopped over on the top. Another one caught McCracken there. And this boy from Birmingham, he was in a lot of difficulty here, but he survived it well. And so they come out now for the final three minutes. Alan Hall on the right, the defending champion against the boy in the yellow trunks, Rob McCracken, one of three boxing brothers from Birmingham. And uh, Hall produced a couple more of his ferocious swinging attacks in the second round and at times almost seemed likely to overwhelm McCracken, who has picked up uh, a cut, I think over his right eye or somewhere near the bridge of his nose. But he certainly cut there, but it's not bad. The referee had a look at it in the second round. So Hall now well on the way to retaining this light welterweight title. That's the 10 stone class. Stop. 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 Caution about the head to the champion, who's giving away a lot of height and reach here, but it doesn't seem to have worried him too much. Stop. Comes from the Shildon Club in Durham. Stop. And he has a fine record, Hall, apart from winning the title last year and being runner up right. the year before. He went to Finland last autumn and he won a gold medal there in the multi-nation tournament called the Tama tournament which attracts a lot of good boxers 
and to win that gold he had to beat a Finn, a Bulgarian, an American and a Pole and that was some performance now this is the public warning for hitting and holding to McCracken he got the second caution in the second round and now on the third offence the public warning if he does it again he'll get another public warning and if he does it again he'll say good night Well, McCracken has got a reputation as a big puncher and he certainly has stopped a lot of men in his time very quickly but uh, this Hall is an uncompromising boxer and although he may not look very stylish he's got so much determination he seems to be made out of solid rock And if he were a member of one of the famous London clubs, we'd all want to know a lot more about him. Stop. Coming towards the end of this contest. Paul seems to me to have more than done enough to retain the title. a disappointing contest there uh, it turned into a rather messy contest between two obviously hard hitters and it wasn't quite the quality it didn't have the quality of excitement that it promised on paper ladies and gentlemen the winner and the national ABA champion at light welterweight by a unanimous decision, Hall in the red corner. So the 19-year-old Alan Hall from the Shilden Club does it again. Light welterweight champion of Great Britain for the second year running. That's a great performance. And remember, it was his third successive appearance here. So we've runner-up once and champion twice.